How's it going, YouTube? Yeah, Pat Mac here, coach of the Sacramento Saints. Slash, bringing you week two of the Mythical Mayhem League up against Old Rum, coach of the Middle Village Pie Doves. You can see our team up above, their team down below. Both teams arranged in speed order, of course, as well as the six Pokemon that we are bringing and the six Pokemon that I think Old Rum is going to bring to our match. Obstagoot has a very interesting place in this matchup um, because even though I have a double fairy types, um, his team has a lot of uh, physical power um, behind it, and like, I'd like to bring Intimidate. Um, but if he brings Defiant, then, you know, we're kind of in a very interesting situation. Um, I think, like, Obstagoon, I, I have it on the list of Pokemon that could come, but I kind of feel like it isn't going to. If it does, it makes things a little bit easier for us, <laughs> because, um, both the Defiant set and a Gut set, um, like, I, I have to play around each of them differently. I'm bringing, like, Will-O-Wisp on, uh, Rotom Wash, and I'm bringing Intimidate with, um, uh, the Tauracat. And so, like, I think one of them is going to look very good against Obstagoon, and the other one won't, kind of thing. Uh, Trick Room is definitely part of our plan here. Um, I have that. Not tr Yeah, I have Trick Room. <laughs> um, even though his uh, his team is pretty quick, um, aside from the Stack Attacka. Um, and Stack Attacka is always going to be the slowest thing in Trick Room for, like, any team. But yeah, like, the rest of his team is pretty fast, um, because Toxicroak has, like, speed 85 or something like that, which is around the same speed as Rotom Wash. Um, so we both have generally fast team, but I have, or like his top end is also faster than my top end. So like that's kind of something that I have to be a little bit more concerned about in terms of how I play the match. So Trick Room I think is going to be pretty good here. Um, and then I also have Rocky Helmet. I have that on Palkia um, just to be like a very big physical wall that his team kind of has a hard time dealing with. Um, so I, I think that that amount of chip damage will help us to pick up some KOs um, against his team. So. Anyway, we'll see what 60 decides to bring here in just a moment. Okay, so here we are in the match, and... Wait, did I get all of them right? No. Okay, there's no Obstagoon. Okay, that's kind of nice to know. Then there is the Regieleki. Okay, so I'm glad I I'm glad I brought my ground type. Oh my gosh, Regieleki has such a huge sprite. Look at this thing. I always have to make this smaller every time I use it. Uh, okay, and then... What else does he have? Did we get everything else? No, there's something different here. Oh, there's an Urshifu too. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel okay about the Urshifu and there's no Stack Attack. Okay, so that means our um, uh, our Trick Room mode actually looks really nice. So I think in that case, um, I like the idea of leading... Hmm. I kind of like a Kaiju plus... Do I just leave Kaiju Snark? What is this bad against? I don't have Protect on either one, which is kind of bad. Let's let's read uh, Big Hair. And then let's bring Snarf and... Mm. I could go Laundry. could go Cha-Cha. Um, not quite sure which one's the best option here. Uh, I think I'll go Laundry. This will give me an option to have, like, uh, Will-O-Wisp on some Mons. Um, I have a feeling that it would be good to have uh, Tora Cat as well. So that might be a change that I'd make um, in Game 2. But I think the leads that I have right now look pretty good. So we'll, we'll go with these as the options and we'll go from there. And let's see, I didn't bring... Didn't bring Needle Queen. Okay, yeah, that, makes, that lead makes quite a bit of sense. Um, but I actually feel pretty pretty good about this uh, about this option because I kind of feel like I'm just gonna protect on Whimsicott and I'm gonna Trick Room. I think that option seems fine. Uh, or do I want a Trick Room? I could probably just attack here. Um, breaking Swipe seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh let's protect Breaking Swipe. I don't mind if the um uh. Palkia gets hit by a fake out. I think that's okay. Um, I don't want Whimsicott to get hit by a fake out though. 
so that's definitely something I want to avoid. Um, I think it's okay for me to go into Snarf, the um, Dustbanker Cosba, um, with Whimsicott if I decide to check Trick Room. But we'll see. We'll see what he decides to go for here. He does go fake out. Okay, he actually fakes out the Whimsicott. Okay, so I'm glad I protected on that. And he U-turns. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and I can't protect against the U-turn, so it makes sense that uh, he could do that. Uh, but protect uh, fake out U-turn actually wouldn't have been such a bad thing. And there's the toxic choke. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm swapping out my Whimsicott here. But breaking swipe will give me some damage on both these mons, which is really nice. Um, as well as just uh, hitting them for um, yeah, some damage plus. Uh, reducing the damage stats. So we'll get to see speed tiers a little bit. Uh, okay, and all of those speeds make a lot of sense to me. Uh, actually, legit don't even mind just going for another breaking swipe. Um, Earth power also seems totally fine here. Um, if I want to hit the Toxicroak, I think I will do that. Um, and I have a feeling that an attack is coming out to um, my Whimsicott. Potentially a poison move, potentially another fake out. So I'm just going to swap them. got out. I think there's a word where they try to like double it up or something. Ooh, actually this might not be such a good move right here because this is weak to kill a boom. So, okay. And actually he's poison touch, so he's not um, dry skin. Wood hammer. Okay, cool. He actually goes to the Palkia. Yeah, that's fine. Um, That actually did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to, to be honest. Do we take this mod out? That would be really nice if we could. Just like one less one to deal with. So Palkia picks up the KO on uh, Toxicroak. Uh, we'll get some leftovers recovery here. What's his last mon? We've been able to see um, two of them so far. Uh, I'm probably swapping out Laundry here though. Um, I Probably doesn't even matter necessarily what it is I swapped into, but I would like to bring it out. Because um, I also want to make sure that I beat this really room. I wonder if he decides to... Um, I wonder if he would decide to go for another um, wood hammer into it. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of just like the idea of going for another breaking swipe, to be honest. Um, actually, setting Trick Room sounds kind of good right here. His team should be pretty quick, so I'm going to try to set Trick Room here. Um, I have a feeling that the attacks are coming out into Rotom, um, and I don't mind just letting Whimsicott go down. Um, what's his last one? Do I want to set Trick Room? Hold on a second. Yeah, I want to set Trick Room for Snarf. Um, but can I allow this one to just die? What if I just Volt Switch? Uh, Urshifu. Yeah, I'm gonna try for that. Yeah, you turns again. Uh, I kind of wonder if that's like Bandage or Scarf or something. Uh, we'll get to see what his last one is as well. If it's the Landris, ooh, okay, so I kind of get caught here, but it is what it is. Does he Woodhammer? He Woodhammer's Palky again. Yeah, so that turn is actually really bad for me. Um, but yeah, the volt switch gets blocked. Now I am going to be faster than this ruler boom though, and it's pretty low at this point, um, at least on the, uh, Whimsicott. So I'm just going to attack it, I think. And he can't switch into a moon blast on that slot. So, um, I think I'm just going to go bring in Whimsicott. I'll go for... Yeah, I'll just go for a Moon Blast into that spot, and then I kind of like the idea of just switching, um... Oh, let's attack there, and then let's swap the, um, Laundry out, and I can just go into Snarf, I think. Uh, oh man, I kind of would have liked to have had Trick Room set up. I wonder if I should have, uh, Trick Roomed earlier. But if I can keep Laundry around for a little bit longer, then that'll help me against, um, the... Uh, Earthy Food. Not the Earthy Food, the uh, um, Landris. Uh, crit kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So we'll get some damage off on this Mon, which is perfect. 
And then I have a feeling I'm going to die to, um... Uh, okay, let's see if I actually die to this. I have a feeling I do, but I don't know for sure. I do. Okay. Uh, but Boom picks up a KO on the... What is it? Something. Fuck yeah. I forgot to write that down. down. Alright, we're both down to two months. Uh, and I can see what his last uh, couple months are here. So it's just Urshifu and Landorus here. Uh, I think my best option is to... Uh, oh God, I think I need a pump, actually. I think I need to go pump on here. And I need to go Photon Geyser here. Uh, if I miss the pump, then I'm super dead. <laughs> like, I'm in such a bad spot, uh, if that happens. Let's see what he goes for. I'm kind of at the uh, mercy of what he decides to go for. Okay, this is Scarf actually. So that's actually um, really good information to have right here. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to die from this. Um, and if he doubles me up, then... Well, we'll see. We'll see. Earth power? Yeah. Do I live this? Nope. Okay. That's unfortunate. But if I hit the pump here, then I think I can live the Surging Strikes. Um, it's it's gonna be tough. We'll see how much damage I can do with this. Dang, Pokemon just dying left and right. Uh, is he sacked or something? Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's just these two bonds left. Do I live a hit? I feel like I should live a hit. Um, but I'm only Volt Switch as my electric attack, so I'm kind of hoping that's, that it's enough. But no grassy train recovery here. We'll see. We'll see if it's enough. But this is what I got. Uh, if I'd been able to get the um, Volt Switch damage off earlier, that would have been kind of nice to have. Um, I think in game two, I'll try to set a Pricker in earlier, too. Um, that would be a really good uh, option to have. Because, like, his turn one, if I switched in, like, Necrozma Dustmane and, um, like, Trick Roomed, I was in a really good spot. Let's see if this is enough. It doesn't look like it's going to be enough. I may... Ooh, that's going to be kind of close if I can survive the second one. I have a feeling the answer that's no, though, so I'm kind of hoping that this is enough damage. It is not. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to lose this first game here. Because I think the Surging Strikes will be enough. We'll switch all. We'll switch with KO. If I had Thunderbolt, oh man, if I had Thunderbolt, that would have been so good. But I was thinking like I would have a nice kind of pivoting core with uh, the. Um, yeah, that's good. Enough. Okay, so uh, honestly, I think the only thing I would change about how I played that game would be to try to trick him earlier. If I had trick him up, then this game was, was kind of a, a wash. Um, I may also not bring Whimsicott, actually. I, I think there's a world where um, it's fine that I don't have that mon. Okay, so coming in to look at the second game, uh, I mentioned that I think my start um, was pretty solid. I actually think I'm gonna kind of go with the, um, with Kino instead of Big Hair. Uh, and then I like the Snarf. I think it just hits a lot of his stuff really well. And then, um, We'll go with these as my other two options. Uh, I really wish I had T-Bolt on um, Laundry. That would have been a really nice situation to have. But is what it is. Um, I'm going to try to side up Trick Room, though. Um, I think that that would be really solid against this team. And we'll see where to go from here. But I have fake out pressure at the beginning here, which is kind of nice to have. Okay, it brings Reggie Lucky this time. Um, I don't think I'm too concerned about that. Uh, I like the idea of just uh, fake out on. Um, I might just. I think I'd just go fake out Reggie Lucky and then um, 
I can, uh, yeah, I can, and then I can trick room. I, I think that's my, probably my best option. So we'll go with that. Let's fake out uh, Regieleki and uh, trick room. And I can KO the Regieleki um, in trick room. I don't think that's too much of a problem. And I'm hoping he doesn't fake me out. Okay, cool. He actually just wood rims. So that's actually best case scenario for me. Uh, because I do have the Rocky Helmet too, so he's taking a lot of damage. But we can Trick Room, and then uh, from this point, I think a Earth Power Earth Power or Breaking Swipe. I'm not 100% sure which option I want to go with. I would like to keep um, Kino around a little bit. Um, and I like the idea of just going for um, Parting Shot. Um, on one of his pawns here. Probably the Regieleki. Let's probably drop the Regieleki. Um, actually, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I think Parting Shot the Regieleki is the right play. And then I think I'm just going to Spatial Rend this Rillaboom. Yeah, Rillaboom is the biggest threat to my Rotom Wash, so if I can get rid of that mod, then I'm feeling pretty good about things. That's fine. Okay, cool. Actually, I'm surprised you predicts this turn instead of last turn. Do I die to Grassy Glide? I don't think I do. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it'll take Rocky Helmet Chip and um, some extra damage here as well. We should pick up this KO. Okay, perfect. So having uh, Rillaboom Dawn is really nice. Uh, we don't get the Parting Trap, but we're in Trick Room, so it's not that big a deal. So Pocky picks up the KO on Rillaboom. So I think it uh, depends on what he brings out here. It's kind of going to play into how I play this turn. He has Lunala. Okay, he actually brought no Lunala. Um, is this a... Uh, I kind of like the idea of... Hmm. I think Heat Wave is a fun... Oh, okay, hold on. How do I want to do this? Maybe Parting Shot the Lunala. I think Parting Shot the Lunala and like Breaking Swipe. Or I could... Yeah, let's go Breaking Swipe. Yeah, if I can get this where um, I can get Necrozma in for free here... Okay, that's actually perfect. What is it going to? Urshifu. Okay, so Urshifu is his last one. So no Landris this time. Actually, that's really good information. Uh, and getting the uh, uh, the attack drop on the Urshifu is pretty solid to have. And we also... Um, dropping Lunala's attack doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um... But getting the parting shot is the more important part. Uh, and we see that he has Dazzling Gleam, so he does have fairy coverage here. Yeah, but dropping that special attack is really, really important to have uh, as an option. Plus, I keep fake out. Uh, so just going into Snarf plus um, Rotom Wash uh, seems pretty good. And I am Assault Vested with Knockoff, so... Okay, cool. And I actually, he doesn't get Shadow Shield back on Lunala, so it's just enough damage that he um, doesn't have that option anymore. Do I want to go into Kino, actually? I get another Intimidate, plus Fake Out Pressure. And I know Urshifu is Scarf. Yeah, yeah, let's do that, actually. Yeah, I think I actually like this play. So I can fake out plus um, knockoff. I think is a fine play here, and um, yeah, then I can. I if he keeps the Urshifu in, then we get chip damage. I have a feeling that he actually swaps it. No, he doesn't. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Uh, and there's no protects coming out here, so we should be able to KO with knockoff easy. Yep. Okay, that's a really good situation right there. Uh, and then I think we still have Trick Room. I'd have to double check. I think there's like a turn left of Trick Room. Maybe two. Yeah, maybe two. So this this start was much better than what I had in the last game. Oh, we don't have Pocky anymore. Um, yeah, I think uh, I'll just KO Urshifu here and then... Um, do I just Heat Wave? Do I just get damage on this? Um, how many turns are you left? This is the last turn trigger. Okay. Yeah, so then I think I'm just going to Heat Wave here. 
Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, Photon Geyser should KO the Surtifu. I'm pretty sure I like KO like max HP or something with the particular set that I had. Um, he doesn't go for a Protect. Um, I kind of thought there was a chance that he would go for one. Wow, that actually does a quite a bit of damage. Wow. Oh, he's physical. Uh, okay, that's actually good information to have. Uh, I think I like the idea of swapping Necrozma out. How do I, how do I like that idea? Does that, make, does that make sense? I think I can swap Necrozma out. Or I just get the free attack. Yeah, let's just, let's just focus on guys here. Um, I think I actually like the idea of parting shot. Do I? Okay, hold on. What, what makes sense here? I'm worried about heat wave missing. And then, like, if I go for a parting shot, then I can uh, fake out. Okay, actually, let's do this. Okay, yeah, let's do this. So I'm gonna go into laundry. I'm like max defense, I think. Uh, and then I like the idea of just going for a parting shot on the regular heat. Because we've seen that he's physical, I can I can kind of play this swap game, I think. Um, and I think I can preserve the... Uh, um... Wow, gosh, that does so much damage. Okay, and actually, yeah, so if I parting shot here, then I can go into um, Necrozma. One of them is probably going to die, but then this one dies to pick out, I think. And he can't kill both Pokemon at the same time, um, so I think this is probably better. If I went for a Heat Wave, then um, I'd probably just lose Necrozma, and then that's it, but uh, I think that's okay. This is hecka offensive, too. Well, I guess I'm not really physically defensive. I thought I was. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna switch. Just easy plays. Uh, if I can knock off to know what item it is, that'd be awesome. So I kind of hope that he kills the Rotom so that I can get um, uh, knockoff information. Although he might just die to his own recoil, now that I think about it. Yeah, he just dies to the recoil. Okay, alright, well that's that's fine too. <laughs> okay, so we end up getting the second game. I think uh, Trick Room is really important there, so that's definitely something that I want to make sure I use in the next, um, the next game. Okay, so coming into game three, I thought our uh, game two plan looked pretty good. I actually don't know how good Rotom Wash is here, actually. Based on just from what we've seen and how the games have played out, I kind of want to bring Cha Cha instead. Like, I have some Sucker Punch priority on Cha Cha, plus uh, Earth Power and Ice Beam hit his team fairly hard from here. And if I can get um, Trick Room up, then I kind of feel good about how that. Oh, okay, hold on. Laundry's really good against the Urshifu. Uh, okay, maybe I do want this Mon. I know I want Snarf. Do I want Laundry? Or do I want Cha Cha? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, I'm kind of torn between the two, honestly. I think... I, I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go Laundry, actually. I think it helps me against the Regieleki a little bit more, because in that endgame, Regieleki was, was a little scary. Uh, and Laundry um, is really just good against the Urshifu, um, but I feel like I have other ways to take that out. Yeah, actually, the team that I'm bringing right here is a little weak to Urshifu. Um, so that's kind of something that I need to make sure I'm playing around um, as I go through this game. But if I get Trick Room up, then my team is not weak to Urshifu, right? Because I can pick up that KO pretty easily. But Surging Strikes looks good against what I have going on right now. Landers. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think in this situation, I'm gonna knock off, or not knock off, I'm gonna fake out the Landorus, and I'm gonna, um, uh, Trick Room. And then from here, yeah, then I think from here I can go, like, Breaking Swipe or Spatial Rend is probably the best option. Um, actually Heat Wave would, would do quite a bit of damage. But Fake Out, I think, on Landris is really good. And then having um, Trick Room up is going to be really good as well. 
Um, actually, Trick Room with the Nido Queen is pretty solid here. So I like that as an option. Uh, oh, this team is really weak to Landers. Dang it. Okay. Um, might have, I might need to keep that in mind. Uh, so I, I probably need to go after the uh, Landorus. Uh, yeah, I probably need to go after the Landorus pretty quickly, actually. Uh, yeah, because I have this pick out as well. Okay, that seems okay. Um, I think in this situation, I go... Oh, I don't remember if I live it. Um, an attack on Torcat. Okay, I think I might need to swap. You know what? I think I'm gonna go trap back here. Um, and I'm gonna try to trick him again. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I have the ground resist. I, I have Shaka Berry, so like, I'll be able to take an earth power if it comes right there. Yeah. Oh, he actually goes after Palkia. Uh, do I live the hit here? Oh, I don't. That's really bad. I probably died this with him, actually, based on damage we were seeing earlier. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's really bad. So he saw that Trick Room uh, mattered quite a bit. But I also have... I have Kino coming back in with Fake Out Pressure, so I think that this can be pretty good for me. Um, but I... Ooh, yeah, this is a little scary. I wonder if I should have just faked out his fake out. Yeah, maybe I should have just faked out his fake out, taken your power, and gone from there. I think that was probably the right play. Uh, I think I need to KO Landers. That's the scarier mon here. Um, and I kind of want to just heat wave actually. Hmm. Kind of want to heat wave. Yeah, let's see wave. Um, I think there's a world where he protects, uh, like, Landorus if he has it. But I have a feeling he would. But yeah, a, a good protect would actually mess up my, my start here pretty badly. So a new room now. Okay, I think that's okay. We have the check very Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, this is, this is great. I tail. <laughs> I still take so much damage, but uh, it's it's something. And then we heat wave. We pick up some damage on both mons here. Uh, yeah, I mean that's a crit with shadow shield, so like that's not really a crit, you know. Okay, it's really nice to pick up that KO um, because my team that I that I have right now is just really weak to that mon. I think on this turn, well, I don't know what I want to do for this turn. Let's see what if what his last mana is. I I feel like he's gonna bring in Rillaboom. No, he has Red Bee Lucky. Okay. In that case. Oh, there's no there's no Urshifu. Okay, I'm glad he didn't bring Urshifu for this last game. Uh, I think in this scenario, I'm just gonna go for Protect. And uh, Parting Shot. Protect Parting Shot. Uh feels feels like a good option here. Uh Parting Shot to Parting Shot Lunala, I think. I could have also sucker punched. I actually wouldn't have hated that idea. Do I die from this attack? Wow, I almost do. That's insane. Uh, does he? Okay, actually, I'm faster. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Does he trick room? Ooh, does he trick room? That would actually help me out so much. But we keep our uh, fake out pressure, which is awesome. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, but in order for that to happen... Oh, perfect! Okay, so we get the Protect off on the Psychic. Uh, in that case, I'm going to Sucker Punch plus knock off the Lunala, I think. Yeah, Sucker Punch, knock off Lunala. Um, I'll 100% go down to an attack, but um, getting this Mon out of the way helps me out a little bit more here. Uh, I wonder if I should have... Swapped into Kino for the Timidate? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, but Nidoqueen picked up the KO on the Vanguard's earlier. 
try and keep up with my notes. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna die um, on Nita Queen this turn, but Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch should do quite a bit of damage. Uh, and the combination of the two attacks should be enough to pick up the KO on Lunala. The Regieleki like is and is not scary. Oh, he swaps. Ooh, okay. Uh, so I don't get the Sucker Punch, but I do get the knockoff. Uh, do I die with the Wild Charge? Do not, but a second one would KO me. Can I pick up that KO? Oh man, I really wish I had been able to. And he was a Miracle Seed on that. Okay, I think I'm gonna swap in... I think I need to let Kino go down here. Yeah, Snark is taking quite a bit of damage. So what do I want to do on Cha-Cha here? Do I protect or do I just attack? I kind of feel like I should just attack. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just attack. And then I think I'm gonna swap Snarf. And let's go into Kino. Let's get the Intimidate drop. Uh, it's... Yeah, let's get the Intimidate drop. And then if they don't attack it, then I do have Fake Out Pressure, which is also kind of nice. Um, I have a feeling that Regieleki is going to KO me here. Maybe there's a world where I should have yeah, picked up that one. I was kind of hoping they would have picked up the other. But I wouldn't take another uh, Wild Charge, so I, I feel like this was my best option. And getting flinched definitely sucks here. And not having Fake Out Pressure. Okay, so... Oh, I think I lost this then. Yeah, I think I, I think this is a loss for me. Um, unless I can KO the Reggie Alecki with Sucker Punch, and then would I take a hit from this? Probably not. Uh, and then I'll send Steel Strike the uh, uh, I guess my team was a lot more reliant on... Um, oh, wait. This might actually be really good for me. If I can Sucker Punch KO this... Uh, no, never mind. Never mind. <gasps> oh my god, I lived that hit? I did not think I was going to live that hit. That's crazy. So does this Sunsteel Strike KO? Well, I guess with the minus one, maybe it was enough that I could reduce that damage output. Oh, they had Shadow Shield up. Oh, man. Okay, so... I think no matter what I do, I probably lose here. Unless I make a read. Unless I make a read. I think my only way of getting of getting out of this is if they... Yeah, if, if they swap Lunala, I think that's my best option. Well, okay, I get the Reggie Lucky. Can I pick up this KO? Do you Psychic? Oh, but then they have enough to KO the... Um, yeah, they have enough to KO the... Um, Necrozma, just as I'm super low. Yeah, this has been a good game. There's been quite a few decisions that I think mattered. I definitely should have gone for a knockoff, I guess. Yeah. Would I have KO'd with knockoff against the Rillaboom? Oh, I might have been able to, actually. But yeah, really good game. I guess, okay, would I have been able to do, like, Sucker Punch? The Lunala. Could I have Sucker Punched the Lunala? Maybe I had to knock off Lunala that turn. But I still died to Grassy Glide, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, good games over to Old Rum. That was a that was a great set. Um He brought a he brought a really good team. I like the way that game played out. I think um thinking about options that I could have made throughout that game. Um Maybe bringing Big Hair would have been a good call. He definitely had the speed advantage on me, though. So maybe having a second Trick Room setter would have been really good that game. Um, but the... Or going for will o -Wisp, Maybe if I'd started... Ooh, what about, like, a start of Rotom Wash plus uh, Kino? I could have faked out plus will o -Wisp something. That might have been a good play. That might have been a good play to have uh, an option to during this game. So anyway, great game over to him. It was a lot of fun to play. And uh, if you'd like to see some more of our content... Whether it is VGC or singles, this is definitely the place to be. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.